So Dave, obviously uh, last day down here for a while, the reserves are just training behind. Obviously just tell people why the reserves are still training. Yeah, the, the link with Derby University, so Derby University is still open. The first years are at Derby University today, the second years are training. Um, and they'll finish as of today, uh, along with along with everything else in football. So we give them the option to come in and they all want to come in and train. Uh, so we'll take them training the day. And then, yeah, like you said, it's probably going to be the last day down here for a while, which is a shame, but there's, there's bigger things to worry about, isn't there? It's a bizarre situation, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> it's how do you cope with it all? I think everyone's just coping in their own way. No one knows really what yeah. they're doing. They're just going along with what they can do. As, as a football club, we've we've obviously got to shut down. We can't get the players in training. Um, the lads will keep on top of the fitness at home, and I trust them to do that. But in all honesty, I don't think the season's going to start again. And to be honest, I don't think it should start again. Um, how that's going to be resolved, no one's got a, a fair or proper answer, have they? Um, we'll just go along with what's going on. Fortunately, we're in a position in, in the league which is not going to um, be determined one way or the other with promotion or relegation. So we're not relying on other authorities to decide that. The semi-finals, losing them is a bit of a blow because hopefully or we were wanting to win one of them trophies to make a successful season. So we're a bit disappointed with that. But like I said, there's bigger things to worry about than football at the moment. Could you make those semi-finals like a pre-season thing, you know, so there's something to play for in pre-season? It's not going to be our decision, is yeah. it? It will yeah. just have to go along with what the authorities do and everyone like you're looking at the government the FA the Premier League they've all got such difficult decisions to make where going, there's going to be fallout from it um, I said fortunately we're not in a position where there's going to be a massive fallout so we'll, we'll start planning for next season just good talks with the board this morning in terms of where we're at as a football club and we do need help we know that we need help and hopefully it is forthcoming with the authorities um, and then in terms of planning, speaking to, to contracted players, non-contracted players and then the board looking to put some sort of budgets based on different scenarios in terms of what's going to come up. And in terms of the squad, are they all okay? Not had any reports of anyone uh, who've contracted the, the virus? No, nothing from the lads, so everyone uh, seems okay. Um, some of them have got jobs that they've been attending as normal. Some of them are going to be coming out of work next week, which is, again, difficult for everyone. Um, in terms, like I said, in terms of the football, we've just got, got to shut it down. And I've spoke with a lot of the players today and yesterday, and I'll speak with the rest uh, following today. But they'll, be, they'll keep on top of the fitness at home. I think the lads do that in general anyway, even when they're out of football during a uh, close season. So um, it's, it might be a point, pointless in terms of doing it, in terms of coming back, because it's, it's not going to happen. But the, the, the good bunch of lads will do it anyway. And in terms of, obviously, we've had the virtual match day, which has been launched, and that's been a huge success so far, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been brilliant. I, the the idea was just a little bit of fun to begin yeah. with, and hopefully the fans who'd come in, the four or 500 fans who'd come in, would, would buy a match ticket, they'd buy a programme. Uh, but it's gained a little bit of national publicity and some of the um, donations and requests that we're having are coming from all over the world, not just the country. But it's good to see teams like your Berry, Luton fans, people like that who've played against us in the past are saying like, all the best and, and donating money to the football club because, as I said, we're going to need it. We are going to need it and it's the same scenario for a lot of football clubs around the place. Not to pay the players and the staff, this is just to pay the, the bills and keep going. Um, so let's hope we can get through this and let's hope all online league cl uh, clubs can get through it but we are we are going to need help and hopefully the, the governing bodies can take hold of that. Yeah, it's fantastic and hopefully it's something we can carry on through the rest of the, the season with the fixtures not being played and every little helps I suppose, doesn't it? Yeah, it does and um, we are intending on running these virtual yeah. games every week. Like I said, people have got difficult financial situations, so we're not expecting people to donate every week, but every every little bit helps. I mean, people have been buying team sheets for, for 20 pence, there's things on there for a pound, for two pound, and it's, it goes a long way with, with us because um, what might seem like uh, not a great deal of money to some clubs, like a thousand pound, two thousand, it's a lot for us, and yeah. we do need it. Um, we're looking at we've lost our three G bookings for the next mm. two three months, which I think is going to cost the club five six grand alone. So we're trying to fill these these gaps that are appearing, and the whole the whole of Hard and community behind Hard has certainly pulled together on it, and it's brilliant to see like the football family around the whole country and world doing the same. Brilliant. Uh, well, Dave, stay healthy, and hopefully we'll see you sooner see you rather soon. than later. Yeah, yeah. See ya. Cheers.